What is going on? Are you debating on whether to buy or sell real estate, but it's the winter time and you don't know if it's a good time to do so? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to cover the pros and cons of both from the buyer and the seller perspective. Uh, so it's November now, about to be December in a couple weeks, and uh, days are getting shorter, it's getting colder, and you're just wondering if it's a great time to buy or sell real estate. Um, because real estate is different based on the time of the year. So uh, I'm going to go over the buyer perspective first and then the seller's perspective. Uh, starting off with the buyer, uh, the pros. There is less competition. So there's not as many buyers out uh, during this time of year. Uh, schools already been back for a couple months. Uh, people aren't moving as much as they do during the summer, trying to change school zones and things like that. So there's less competition. Uh, during this type of year. The second pro, uh, motivated sellers. This goes along with there being less competition, uh, there's less buyers. Sellers are a little bit more motivated during this type, type of year to, to work out a deal, uh, that type of thing, to negotiate uh, because they're trying to sell their house during this time. So um, that's just one thing you can also think of as a buyer is that your negotiating power is a little bit higher during the winter time. And then the third would be um, inspections might, might be a little bit more accurate during this type of year. Uh, you're able to see how things work with insulation and uh, heater and things like that uh, because the weather is a little bit worse during the winter time. So um, it's a good time to see how well that house and the structure and the systems and everything function during the winter time. Um, and you know during the added stress of the weather uh, for the winter now for some cons of buying real estate in the winter time uh, the first one limited inventory um, this goes along with buyers there's not as many sellers during this time of year because most people know that it's more lucrative to try to sell your home uh, during during the summertime where there's more people looking so the inventory is lower um, you may be able to find a seller that's willing to negotiate just because they're trying to move uh, because out of necessity, but um, there's just less inventory during the winter months. Uh, the second con is weather challenges. Uh, like I mentioned before, winter can sometimes be um, pretty rough weather, uh, whether it be snow, just uh, cold weather, dark, uh, it's get darker earlier, less sunlight. Um, just that's all that comes during from this time of year. And I, I know here in Huntsville, it's not as bad. We have snow maybe once or twice a year, and it's not really that bad. But uh, it's just, you know, most people get off work at 5 o'clock, and it's already dark by then. Um, it's cold. Most of the time it's overcast. And uh, it's just not the best time to be out in the open. And, uh, you know, people don't like to be in cold weather. So uh, that's just one of the, I would say, is a con for this uh, that time of the year and then we all don't like to talk about it but it's the holidays this is the third con um, people just don't work as much so uh, you have a potential for having a slower uh, loan process during this time of year just because of the holidays and um, you know the time of the year so I know you, people don't like to uh, say that the, the holidays affects uh, how people work but it does and uh, just the whole process might be a little bit longer during this time of year. So I just covered the pros and cons of being a buyer during the winter months and now I'm going to cover the sellers because I like to do it from both sides so you can get a picture of what it would mean for you if you were in this situation and be able to set expectations um, based on your situation uh, whether being a buyer or seller. So um, first I'll go over the pros for sellers. Uh, the first one is since there are less buyers during this time of year um, you get more serious buyers uh, a lot of people like to test the waters during the summer you know trying to debate whether they should move school districts or things like that um, you have more serious buyers and the reason people um, seem to buy more or be more serious during the winter is because they have to move out of necessity so this will also be Another pro is relocation opportunities. Um, this is the time of year where companies like to move 
people before the start of the new year. Um, it's basically out of necessity. So um, I'll, the two pros so far are serious buyers and relocation opportunities because these kind of go hand in hand where people are moving during the winter months because of career opportunities and things like that. Uh, and then the third one is less competition for sellers. Um, say there's a neighborhood, usually during the summer, um, there's a thousand houses in the neighborhood and during the summer, you might have 25 houses that go on the market during the entire summer. Um, during the winter, you may only have 10. And that's just because, like I said earlier, most people try to sell or buy during the summer months. Um, and that's just uh, how, how the market fluctuates throughout the years. I've been doing this for six years, and uh, it seems like the winter months are a slow period for all real estate agents. So there's still deals being closed every month, every day, um, but it's just at a lower uh, ratio than, than it is during the summer. And then we'll, we'll go over the three uh, cons of selling during the winter months. Like I mentioned earlier, weather, um, like I said, days are short, 4.30, it's already dark. Um, it's gonna start getting colder. We, I think we had a week of uh, cold weather. Um, and as we get into December, January, February, it's gonna be colder. Um, people just don't like to get out in the weather. It's uh, overcast like it is today. Uh, rainy, snow, that type of thing. And uh, people just don't like to be out in it as much. Uh, the second con, limited curb appeal. Grass is dead, flowers are dead. Um, houses just don't aren't as vibrant as they are during the summer. Um, they don't take pictures as well as they do during the summer. Um, so that's just one of the things you gotta think about is, um, you know, people like to see vibrant colors and things like that and uh, it's just not a, not necessarily there all the time and uh, during, the, during the winter. So, uh, And then the third con, is potentially longer days on market. Uh, like I said, not as many buyers. Um, it just, uh, we're seeing about 30 to 33 days right now on market. Um, that's just the average. And uh, you know, if you decide to sell during this time, time of month or time of year, uh, that's just what you can expect is your property will probably be on the market a little bit longer. Uh, than normal. We're out of the 2021-2022 uh, era where it didn't matter what time of year your house was going to sell in 24 minutes. Uh, we're not there anymore. Uh, it's likely to 30 to 35 days is what you're going to see and uh, possibly more than that just as we move deeper into the winter season. So uh, those are the pros and cons for both buyers and sellers. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, please share. Um, I'd like to have buyers and sellers set expectations before they start the process and the more people know uh, before they start the process the better so um, if you got anything out of this please share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out information every week that uh, can help you make an informed decision with it whenever it's your time to buy or sell real estate if you have any questions like to talk about your real estate goals feel free to reach out phone number is 256 542-0226. Uh, I'd love to talk to you, see if there's any way I can help you uh, meet, meet your goals. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next week.